up so it's like a really sad day i don't know why i felt the need to vlog this experience i don't know why i felt the need to vlog at all as you can probably tell <laughs> been crying a little bit so I just dropped Khaleesi's body off at the vet because she passed away it's hard I'm trying not to cry because I gotta I did my whole makeup and now I gotta redo it she got a respiratory infection honestly I mean with the antibiotics and everything that I got like I was on top of it like I did everything right and I don't know what happened or what went wrong and I did everything right. I did everything I could to make her better and just did nothing. I um, took her body to the vet because I wanted to see if they can find out what, what happened, what went wrong, and really what caused it because I've... I've had respiratory infection with one of my other snakes before and the antibiotics worked and it was fine and he got better and everything is good. Like Odin, Odin has had respiratory before and nothing has gone wrong and he's thriving. So I don't know what happened. I don't know what went wrong. I don't know if it was IBD or not. Honestly, I don't. I don't think it was IBD. For those of you that didn't watch my snake update video, um, I had a little snake named Salem who was like a baby and she got really, really, really sick. Not because of like husbandry or anything because my temperatures are fine, the humidity was fine. Like she was at her ideal perfect temperature. She started acting really strange and got really sick and uh, showed a lot of signs for it. Khaleesi showed mostly signs of just a really bad respiratory and I thought I caught it and I guess I didn't catch it in time oh god this is gonna be a lot of repair work honestly though she showed signs more of having something like um it developing into pneumonia it, it could be something else it could have been lung mites it could have been viral uh, a bacteria I, I really don't know it just sucks because she was like a really good snake and I just feel like a fucking failure I feel like I'm the worst snake parent ever I feel like I just failed and what makes it even worse is that it's going on during all of this bullshit and all this time with this horrible horrible breakup and and to make matters worse a few weeks ago I lost Loki too he was my favorite he was like my companion like he was my first snake and I don't know what happened with him he wasn't sick at all I wasn't even there I was out of town it's Chris called me and said he just he went in there and it was like a span of 10 minutes he went to go do stuff in the bathroom get ready to start feeding everybody and he came back in and Loki was just at the bottom of his tank just curled up and gasping for air and before that he was completely fine what I think happened with Loki was that and it, it's my fault if, if this is what happened with him unfortunately with Loki I, I just I, I pretty much know what happened I, he it was my fault because the tank that I had him in was not meant for ball pythons it was not it was meant it's meant for it to be like an actual like tall large fish tank so i think he just had a fall this is what chris described to me it sounds like he just had a really bad fall and maybe punctured a lung or something i don't know but he was not sick this just really sucks i really good and i miss her but i miss him yeah, I'm gonna have to do, redo all of this face makeup. Good news, though, is that Odin is thriving like the best possible way. He is getting much bigger. He is healthy. He's eating like a fucking machine. Like that snake, I swear, he just, he's, he's like a garbage disposal. He can eat two large ASFs if I let him, but I try not to let him. I don't want to overfeed him. <sighs> I will get more snakes. This isn't going to discourage me. I will know what happened with, with Khaleesi, and I will give you guys an update on her, on 
well not on her but what it was I know I've said this before when a dog or a cat or like you know a normal pet passes people are really sympathetic and they understand and they get it it seems like in today's society which is really strange to me um, snakes are not really one of those pets that gets a lot of sympathy when they die I've honestly been met with um, a lot of cruelty almost when Salem died, I had people, um, especially older people, like at my work, I said she died and one of them's like, oh, did you cry? Like, yeah. Yeah, I did. Bitch. Like, <laughs> it was my pet. I hugged you and gave you sympathy when your dog passed away. You can at least do the same thing for me. Maybe she wasn't furry and cuddly and wasn't a, a mammal, but she was still my pet. She was my baby. Sorry, I got really hyped. You tone it down a notch. It just, it absolutely, one, it annoys me that I can never find a foundation that will blend from my face to my chin because I don't have nice bone structure and my face just kind of melds into my chin and I don't have that little like, you know what I mean? Like the jawline separation, like it all just kind of blends together. First world big girl problems. <laughs> but it just really, it, it bothers me. It seems like even in the world of people that have these guys as pets, for the most part you will get sympathy and I've got great friends, like they don't like snakes, but I've got great friends that are sweet enough to actually be like, oh my God, I'm so sorry. And like they show sympathy for and I'm not asking for sympathy but even in the herp world like the world like people who regular or have ball pythons as pets and like the uh, the people that are supposed to understand even there it seems like it's either you get the sympathy or they completely bash you and say how a, much of a horrible snake keeper you are and this was your fault and it had to be your husband tree and I hadn't even had Khaleesi that long like I hadn't had her long enough and when I set her up temperatures were great humidity was great like it this really came on as a shock and she seemed like she was completely okay up until I noticed the bubbles and open mouth breathing and by that time that happens it's usually bad so I knew it was gonna be a long road to recovery but she just seemed like she never got better she never really got any better and it kills me because I I tried so hard I'm not, I'm not even talking about like financially like I don't when it comes to my pets I don't care about finances I don't care about what I've got or how much it costs I don't care when I say I tried, I mean like I I did everything. Like I upped her temperature. I was giving her her antibiotics on time. She was put on a schedule for her antibiotics. Like I I don't know what else I could have done. Loki was extremely hard to swallow. With him, I was really in shock. Honestly, because of the situation, I had a lot of people say it's really convenient that this happens when you're not home. And then Khaleesi happened while I wasn't home either. I was on, it was actually this past Mother's Day that I lost her. Great Mother's Day gift, right? And I wasn't home then and a lot of people are saying, oh, that's really convenient, isn't it? He's home and you're not and your snakes are dying. If I'm truly, really honest with myself, I don't think he had anything to do with it. I really don't. Such an animal lover and he does love snakes. They're, they're his favorite type of animal. So I don't think he did anything to hurt Loki. And I know he just, he's not, I don't believe he's that malicious of a person. So, but sorry, this is a little bit of a sad thing. I just, honestly, YouTube for me is not about how many views I get, how many subscribers I have. Like, I could have one subscriber. I don't really care. It's honestly just a therapeutic kind of thing for me. It's an outlet for me to talk about things. And honestly, it's a way for me to remember little things, remember little details of things that happen. And it's never been about being the next big YouTube star. It's This is just for me. So I'm going to continue doing my makeup and getting ready for work and yeah. I'm gonna try to have a better rest of my day. I hope the doctor calls me really soon. We can discuss what all is happening.
thanks for listening for those of you that are listening that have watched this. this the support is really welcome but I'm going to continue doing my makeup and try to make myself look presentable for life <laughs> thank you guys for letting me sit here and cry and tell you about my babies only thing I ask is this is a really hard time and I know there's a lot of people out there especially in the herp community that oh my way is better than your way you did this wrong you did this wrong but if you could just this is hard enough just please don't be a dick <laughs> don't be a don't be an asshole don't be that guy no one likes that guy so thanks for watching guys I'll see you next time